Hey, what's up guys? Mr. Free Coiner coming back to you again today. I hope you guys are doing well and you've been taking care of yourselves. Now, guys, I do want to apologize for my absence. I know it's been a while, but a lot has been going on and I've been trying to just kind of get back to myself. But here I am and I'm, I'm planning on providing some, just my perspective. I know sometimes I look at things differently and I think some of you guys appreciate that. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, as we know, yesterday was quite a dip in the market and it was kind of scary. A lot of people uh, might have sold, but from what I understand, coming from some of the people that are very talented in uh, technical analysis and understanding how these markets work, they say it was uh, what happened yesterday was actually a very bullish event. Okay. So, and then also again, uh, having another, you know, bit of a drop. We dropped down to, what was it? Uh, $1.4 trillion market cap over the whole market. And now we're actually back up to, um, 1.7 trillion. Um, will we drip, drop down again? I'm not sure. But all in all, like they said, this is a very bullish event. So from here, we might see something very nice. Uh, well, not might we, I'm sure we will. Uh, just to start off, Bitcoin, as is obviously the leader in the market right now, still holding uh, 40 plus percent, and we'll go over that in just a second, of the market cap. Now, um, me personally, I'm hoping Bitcoin does get to the targeted amounts, which it looks like could be between 70 and $80,000. Um, I do plan on letting go of the little bit of Bitcoin that I have and, and then rotating that into XRP. Hopefully if it's, I mean, either way it's going back into XRP, but, um, all in all things are looking good guys. We have, uh, you know, this is, this, these are good things. And I'm going to go over, uh, some of the things that have been said by the, the, the one guy that I listen to, and I'm sure a lot of you do too, is blockchain backer. He has, uh, in my opinion, he, if I, I wish I had found him back in uh like 2020 early whenever it was that he started I, I think uh i know in fact i know i would be in a much better position if i had been listening to him back then then but you know it is what it is i've already also seen uh kind of a turnaround in in how i'm doing in the market so all in all guys um Every day is a learning experience, so we have to definitely take those lessons and, and move with them. So getting on to the market cap, um, Bitcoin is still leading at 43%. Um, the, the altcoin market is, is still expected to increase. Now we haven't seen the, uh, the full glory of the, of the altcoin market yet, uh, this bull run. So still a lot of beautiful things to come guys uh, so let's just it, the number one thing I want to encourage everybody to do and again I'm not a financial advisor but this is what I'm doing I'm just holding on and waiting this market is about patience it is very volatile but the things that that we're seeing have to play out uh, and it is it's amazing that these things happen time and time again. These, it's just, it's just a cycle. It's just that the cycles get, they get larger and larger. And it's just amazing because like I said, blockchain backer has gone over these things and it is just, it, it, I've never even realized or understood how precise these things can, uh, come about. It's just, it's just amazing that it can follow the way you know it can follow a, a a pathway that has been set in previous times so one thing that blockchain backer has been saying is that the market is following what it did in 2013 and from what he's showing it's just again it's amazing how precisely it can follow i mean of course it's it's not the same numbers but the movement in the uh in the charts and in the market is is like very very reminiscent of what happened in 2013 so i always find that very uh very interesting now i'm just going to go over a few things that um th <laughs> that are going on on twitter and i know you guys are 
obviously, um, on, on Twitter, looking at what's being put out there. Me, I have been a lot more active on Twitter in the last uh, year or so. Uh, so um, just to go over one tweet that I put out uh, was at nine o'clock last night. I said, prediction, nearly every coin will surge like like crazy while XRP sits lifeless, which we know generally XRP does fire off last behind everything else because XRP generally has a, uh, a larger um, a, a larger increase than most other coins. So and, and I think most people, I guess, generally leave their profits or rather their their money in XRP. But either way. Uh, I go on to say some will sell chasing pumps, but ultimately XRP climbs, and I meant to say climbs, like the beanstalk, and that's just a reference to Jack and the beanstalk. Hang on, and you will reach the clouds too. So that's what I believe. I think definitely XRP will fire up like a rocket ship, but it's going to take a while, and it will likely be the very last coin. So Something that I am definitely taking advantage of is some of this other, these other, um, pumps that are happening, at, happening in other coins. And then I will take that, those profits and whatever I get from that, drop it into XRP and just ride that thing all the way to the top. So we'll see how it happens, but I definitely believe that is going to happen. Now, um, going over again, what blockchain backer had to say. He, he did put out a video, uh, today, which explains a lot of stuff. Um, if you haven't had a chance, go and check him out. Uh, also, he does say today is a good day, which I, I mean, I believe too, from what I'm understanding now. And I'm, I'm trying to get, um, more thorough information on how to understand these markets and the charts and all that other stuff. Uh, I thought I understood it, but you know what? I'm just a baby when it comes to that. So uh, I'm, I'm gathering more knowledge as we speak. All right. So going into the XRP case at the SEC filed against us. Now, just recently, there was a, a, a judgment that came from Judge Netburn. It seems like it was a bad thing. But according to Johnny Deaton, now this guy right here, he is the one that uh, filed the uh i think uh the motion to add the xrp holders uh or inject the xrp holders kind of into this into this case or you know however that works i'm not a lawyer but he says this i've seen a lot of comments and concerns that this ruling is a big blow to x or ripple xrp he says it's not and he goes on to say in my opinion judge netburn delivered the correct legal ruling on this issue there was only one prior case where the use of MOUs was argued and the court allowed it. So this whole situation with the MOUs that the SEC is using is actually, you know, it's not a big deal. OK, I initially thought, I mean, without any knowledge as far as far as it goes and legal proceedings, I thought it was a big deal. But upon reading the actual order and if you guys get a chance, he does leave a link uh it's in here he leaves this link that will lead you here go and check it out judge netburn does say that just because it is unfair that the sec can use this it does have access to this type of thing it doesn't mean that it should be left out she goes on to say and this is paraphrasing it um that you know in many cases there are unfair advantages that one party, one side or the other may have, uh, and, and they have to deal with it, right? So it's okay. Now, I personally think what could come from this is once these MOUs are actually provided, uh, these companies and these other entities that are being served this by the SEC, this information could actually work in the favor of Ripple. Right now, how that could be, I'm, I'm not absolutely sure, but I think the judge wants to see what information or, you know, what it is that these other companies have to say, what they what they have gathered and all of that. Um, we'll just have to be patient and watch and see how this all comes about. 
I mean, guys, don't worry about it. I mean, if the lawyers are not worried about it, and and also, uh, I think it's Jeremy, uh, the other lawyer who's who's involved in this, uh, Jeremy Hogan. I believe he said that he it's it's not a big deal. Um, he he kind of expressed one of the videos kind of expressed that uh, maybe it could you know amount to something, but I think all in all, it's not something we have to be concerned about. So you guys, all of us, let's just move along with it. It's going to happen how it happens, how it needs to happen. And I believe in the end, XRP and Ripple rather will come out on top and we will see what we're what we've all been looking for now on the other side of this once uh, xrp does fire up from what bcb or blockchain backer is saying we're only going to see about uh, between 10 and maybe 15 dollars could it go higher it's very possible but i guess my main thing is, is just this i don't want to miss out on such huge gains because guys we have been buying xrp for years you know i know i've bought it for less than 20 20 cents uh less than you know i mean well as low as what 18 19 uh, 17 cents so most of us have accumulated quite a bit of xrp right i would just say this consider consider taking profits at the very least what i plan on doing is is taking out what i've put in now i think i've said this before at around 10 bucks right i mean actually i'm going to start taking i'm going to start selling at around nine dollars not very much at nine but increasing as you know with it going up right so nine dollars i'm going to sell a certain percentage which will probably be less than ten percent and then at ten dollars uh, a larger percentage and and on and on now i will have some uh sales at a higher amount like say above fifteen dollars just in case right but i'm only selling uh i think maybe around 65 to 70 percent of my holdings right that's going to leave me enough in just in case xrp for for whatever reason fires up to say fifty dollars you know just in case I think that's definitely wise, but all in all, guys, don't be afraid to take profits. Even if you're expecting it to hit 50 bucks, you know, don't just hold out. You know, this is just my opinion. I wouldn't hold out for that because you may not see it. You know, I know many times I have missed uh, taking some very nice profits and then buying in cheaper later just because I was holding on and I thought, oh no, it's going to go to whatever. Guys, when people are telling you that, they are, <laughs> in my opinion, they're telling you to hold while they sell. Okay. That's how this market works. The retail, uh, the retail sector is an ATM for the more wealthy people and the more savvy people. Don't be afraid to take pop profits. Now, I know a lot of you probably won't, but just consider it. And that's that's all I'm saying. OK, so another thing I wanted to talk about is be careful of these freaking scammers. There are so many projects, different things that are being launched right now. And, you know, if you get in early, right? Hey, by all means, get in, make your money and get out, right? Generally, if a project just starts, right? And you you get in like it starts out at well just for uh the ease of the numbers, just to make it easy, we'll say at 1 cent. And you get in and you get in at say 2 2 and a half cents, right? You know you have already most likely you have already gotten in before the major pump if it starts out at one cent it's only at two cents right and you haven't seen that huge wave up well what you what you should do just consider getting out of it if it pumps up to 10 cents it, it's going to have a few waves in there you know it might go up to five and kind of hang out and then pump up again but always have a target to get out i personally 
have missed some opportunities uh, with some of these some of these projects that that have come out. Now I've I've also been able to grab some of it, but all in all, I'm just you know just putting it out there for you guys to to be able to you know get in get out and have some profit in your in your hands you know even if it goes up higher when you know higher than where you sold just be careful about taking those types of risks because it, it there's nothing worse than to hold on to something while everybody else is selling and then you're sitting back where you were or or lower than where you invested so just something to consider also, like I said, there are lots of scams right now. Lots of scams. Keep your information safe. Um, if somebody hits you up, like somebody hit me up the other day, I don't know who this person is. They said Rob Cash was in the know or something like that. Well, Rob hit me up and was like, look, dude, I don't know anything about what this guy's talking about. I don't know. You know, just he's like, be careful. I was like, I know. I already know, man. I said, you know, I told the guy, oh, yeah, I'll share it and, you know, check it out. But, you know, if somebody's hitting me up like that, I just don't I don't trust it. Now, if you're listening, I'm going to I'm just going to let you know I am. I've been in this market for, you know, for years now, since 2017 with with knowledge. Right. So just understand if you hit somebody up and then you lie and say someone else is uh, is involved or in the know. Look, you, that's not looking, that's not a good look for you. Okay. Generally, I mean, if you have a, a project or something like that, that's fine. Um, but I tend to stay away from things like that. I have certain sources that I go to to find about, find out about projects. And these sources I definitely trust if I am going to get involved. If you're just somebody new, just hitting me up. More than likely, I'm not going to uh, jump on that wagon. So just letting you know. I appreciate it, but hey, I, I don't know if it was a scam or something like that. I, I can't really say. But all I'm telling you guys is be careful. Um, a lot of people have lost, I mean, if not everything, close to it. And there is nothing worse than having something like that happen. Okay, so one last Thing I do want to talk about the whole health aspect of life. Now, you guys know that I generally have talked about health and things like that. I am, uh, you know, I'm a little bit older than a lot of you guys out there, but for the most part, no one ever can guess my age. I look, you know, most people tell me I look like I'm still in my 30s, but I'm far from, far from my 30s, right? Far, far from my 30s. But uh, it's because I do um, take care of myself. I, I work out. I, I don't smoke. I don't drink very often. Very, very, very rarely do I have a drink. I'm, I might have a beer or something like that. I mean, once a month, if that, right? Uh, I, I'm, to be honest with you, last time I had a beer, uh, it's been at least three months, right? You, you have to be aware of the effects of a lot of this stuff. Uh, if you start to do some, some looking into these things, you will realize that most of these chemicals that you're drinking in turns into something that will cause premature aging. It'll cause, uh, disease. It'll cause a lot of problems for you. Uh, health wise. So you have to be very careful of, of, of taking these things into your body, especially like smoking. When you smoke, it creates, as it says in this article, it creates an enzyme that actually breaks down the collagen in your skin. Smoking definitely targets, uh, your organs and one of the main organs is your skin. Of course, you can have lung cancer, you can get lung cancer and other stuff, throat cancer. I mean, all types of crazy stuff. But if you're concerned about how you look, if you're concerned about um, not looking your age and, and, you know, as you get older and, and just remaining in good, uh, just general health, you want to stop smoking if you're smoking or never start it in the first place. These things are, I mean, they're, they're just terrible on your health. A lot of people that I see my age, I mean, they look 10, 15 years older than me simply because 
These are the things they do. They drink on a consistent basis. They smoke. They, you know, don't even consider what they're taking into their bodies as far as food. Um, and these things are, these are the things that are in my mind on a daily basis. I make sure I, the, the meats that I eat are definitely, uh, a higher quality if I can find it. You know, uh, a lot of times I actually order my meats. Uh, there's a guy up in New York, uh, called it. His, he has a company called Frankie's Free Range Meat. Check him out. He is, he actually has a, uh, a YouTube channel and yeah, he's it, the, the meats that he provides is all organic. They're grass, you know, grass fed meats, things like that. There's another company here in the Dallas area. Um, it's, uh, it's Allen Wholesale Meats, I believe. And, um, they have higher quality meats. Some of it is not all grass fed. They have, uh, grain fed meats. However, it's a higher quality of grain fed meat. Um, I've had that as well as the grass fed. It's all very good. The way I can tell, um, if, if, uh, the meats I'm eating are like higher quality, as to be honest with you, I sweat like crazy. If it's, if it's not a quality piece of meat, um, a steak or something like that, I'm going to sweat like crazy at night. And I don't know why that is, but it's just always happened to me. But if it's a higher quality of, uh, you know, a cut or something like that or grass fed or whatever, I don't have that issue. I can go to sleep. I don't sweat like crazy. I don't, you know, I literally have woken up and, you know, I mean, just almost a puddle that I, I sweat so much when it's when it's not good quality meat. Also, it does affect my sinuses, too. So, again, just just consider these things, guys, your your health, like I've said uh, in the past, what's good, what, what's the, the good in having all the wealth in the world if your health is not good? I, I'm, you know, I also eat good, you know, I try to eat quality, uh, vegetables and fruits and things like that. This is what is going to help your longevity that will allow you to continue for years. I mean, even if you, if it's not that you're living an extremely long time, it's about the quality of life you have while you're living. You don't want to be sick. You don't want to be, you know, having to deal with all types of disease and, and doctors and taking pills. One thing I don't do, I don't take any pills. I don't take any pharmaceuticals whatsoever. I rarely ever even take like a Tylenol. I don't take Tylenol because it has acetaminophen. If I take anything, it'll be um, ibuprofen, like Advil or something like that. But that is it. Anything else I take, it will be uh, all you know, natural or organic or whatever. Uh, one thing that you can do um, if you have a headache is just get um, what is it? Pepper uh, uh, peppermint oil, right? Just put a drop of it in in a glass of water. That usually will get rid of your headache. It's, it's worked for me many, many times. However, if I don't have the peppermint oil, I will use Advil or something like that. But anyway, guys, I just wanted to, uh, um, kind of go over these, these things. Uh, I find it, uh, very interesting. Um, just the, the, the things that we go through, the deal, the, the, the things that we have to endure, uh, and, a lot of this is of our own making. We can make the difference in our lives, uh, whether it's financially or health wise or even, uh, mentally, right? And now I'm going to go into some of the things that, um, are affected by our mental state. Um, and some of the things that I'm dealing with also myself, you know, with my dad and, um, as some of you know, my mom passed away earlier this year. So again, like I said, I've been going through um, a few things and just having to make some adjustments and things like that. So anyway, guys, just, that's all I ha really have for you today. Uh, there's, I don't, it's already getting pretty long. So some other stuff I want to talk to, talk to you about will be put into my next video. I look forward to uh, bringing that to you guys. And, and guys, also, I want to thank you for sticking around for so long, even though I have not made any videos. Please share this. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe if you're not already subscribed. 
and just take care of yourselves. That's something that I definitely want to emphasize. Take care of yourselves. All right, guys. So until next time, this has been Mr. Frequenter. Take care of yourselves and God bless.